Despite a worse than expected election day, runoffs in Georgia, tense advisors, and even a hurricane, Donald Trump is now in full swing to announce his candidacy for president next Tuesday. The announcement has been postponed to 2100 hours. EST at the Mar-a-Lago campus will be filled with mega splendor and conditions and is intended to rekindle a demoralized GOP base, according to a source familiar with the event. The president will make a special announcement on Tuesday, one person familiar with the decision told the Daily Beast on Thursday. Since Monday night, Trump's then-Ohio Senate nominee, now Senator-elect J.D. Vance. But since Monday night, there has been a vortex of political news. The midterm elections did not go as well as the GOP had hoped, prompting some Republicans to say the party should turn the page on Trump. The race for the Georgia Senate, which could determine control of the Senate, advanced to the second round. Trump's feud with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis escalated. Hurricane Nicole, which has turned into a tropical storm but still devastating, has landed on the Florida coast. And the dramatic leadership election in the House of Representatives is now due on Tuesday, which could steal some of Trump's news coverage. Still, Trump seems determined to make a statement on Tuesday. As a source in Trump's orbit told the Daily Beast, Rock and Roll. The decision came after some advisors at Trump World openly wondered if the timing was right. And if there is any debate as to whether Trump's statement would be good for the GOP's electoral prospects in Georgia, that question could probably be answered by some of Trump's most prominent former advisors by getting on television and saying that Trump should wait. On Wednesday, Trump advisor and Getter CEO Jason Miller warned that a Trump announcement could affect the Georgia runoff. Of course, President Trump said he would make a statement next Tuesday, November 15. I advise the president to wait until the Georgia race, Miller told Newsmax on Wednesday. Similarly, former press secretary Kayleigh McEnany urged Trump to refrain from declaring the 2024 presidential election. I know there's a temptation to start talking about 2024, no, 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 she said on Fox News. 2022 is not over. I think it needs a pause. McEnany said of Trump's anticipated statement on Tuesday. It's not that other counselors don't see the wisdom pending. They just say that now the backtracking will signal weakness to an area with potential 2024 competitors and the like. It's hard to stop at this point because it shows weakness. But there is also a chance to find a cause, one consultant told the Daily Beast. The same source added that in the unlikely event such as Trump's withdrawal from Tuesday's announcement, the justification could include things like, the hurricane is targeting my home, or I need to focus on Herschel Walker's race. A Trump spokesperson did not turn down the Daily Beast's request for comment. Part of the problem for Trump is that he wants to get ahead of his GOP rivals watching the 2024 run. The most famous is DeSantis, who won by a landslide Tuesday night after the other Republicans unexpectedly lost. Unlike the former president, DeSantis' inner orbit works very differently, with a tight-knit and small advisory group that is essentially sealed. At a rally in Pennsylvania last weekend, he couldn't resist name-checking by former President DeSantis under a new nickname, Ron DeSanctimonious. Over the past few months, Trump has complained privately about DeSantis. Recently, however, his snarling has leaked into the public. On Thursday evening, Trump repeatedly followed DeSantis in classic Trump fashion, making long, rambling remarks on social media. Ron DeSanctimonious is playing games. Trump wrote in a post to Truth Social. Fake News asks if he will run if President Trump runs, and he says, I'm just focusing on the governor's race, I'm not looking to the future. In terms of loyalty and class, that's not really the right answer. Trump has described DeSantis as an average Republican, and his growing popularity in Florida has attracted GOP voters who want to dive into sunshine. Those familiar with the matter say DeSantis remains a constant point of frustration for the former president. According to a source who spoke to Trump about the issue, Trump is particularly angry that DeSantis is not grateful to the former president. 
Part of Trump's motivation to announce 2024 so early is to discourage other Republicans, particularly DeSantis, from competing. As soon as Trump explains it, it will make the situation even more uncomfortable for DeSantis. Rather than occupying the in-between space where he is not exactly pro or anti-Trump, the former president's declaration may help clarify exactly what DeSantis will do. But Trump isn't just trying to box DeSantis. After at least 17 of Trump's endorsed candidates were defeated at the polls on Tuesday, Republican Maryland Governor Larry Hogan boasted that anti-Trump voices found interim success. I was talking about a bigger tent, Hogan told CBS News. And we need it. I think it's a struggle over which direction the Republican Party is going to go. My side of the party had a really good night. Trump's side didn't. Mike Pence, Trump's former vice president, also seems ready to announce a proposal. This nomination will be complicated by the fact that Trump is already underway. But many believe Trump's early nomination was a gamble to prevent the Justice Department from impeaching him. The theory is that the Justice Department may have suspended criminal charges before the midterms, but if Trump is already a declared candidate, those charges could be dropped. All these factors are plausible explanations for Trump to make an announcement two years before the election. But the simplest explanation might be that Trump is Trump. He discussed running during his time out of the office, and his assistants repeatedly discouraged him from an announcement. Reportedly, Trump was extremely close to declaring the 4th of July. Advisors say Trump is putting some effort into campaigning and sorting out a number of calculations. I expected Trump to come out on Tuesday, said one advisor. People forget that he blew up 16 Republicans in 2016 and has been controlling the entire party with fear ever since. I'm sure there will be challengers, this counselor continued. But they better look battle-ready, because there's nothing on the table.